Hello everyone, Andrew Brighteroo here from Brighter Planet Properties. I am here to talk about green hydrogen, which is hydrogen produced from water and, and an electrolyzer that is powered by solar energy or wind or other energies, but from our case, it's solar energy. And we power that electrolyzer from the typical solar project that you see, the utility scale project, you see everywhere across the world. And it's clean energy. You're not using natural gas or other types of dirty energy uh, to produce the hydrogen itself. And by separating the oxygen and the hydrogen, you're able to then store that hydrogen and, and the energy that it's it's pent up to connect back to an oxygen molecule. So when you do connect it to an oxygen molecule, uh, you have a explosion, a controlled explosion to power an engine, to power uh, generation, to re a fuel cell. Or, um, you have a, an immense amount of pent up energy that you then deploy, and you can transport it, you can pipe it, um, but. We re that's really the, the future of a clean energy grid is mobility. It's, it's either you're either developing large transmission lines to go miles and miles, or you're, you're taking hydrogen and you're piping it or you're trucking it. And I feel that when it comes to transportation, you have a company like Nikola, you have a company, you have other types of uh, semi, you have a semi company, you have hydrogen fuel cell cars, um, there's, there's a huge future. It's been around, the technology's been around, the concept's been around for a long time. But the execution is now. This is the decade of executing the hydrogen economy and hydrogen future. Right. In the decades to come, clean hydrogen could be deployed uh, to cut up to 34% of global greenhouse gases uh, from fossil fuels and, and industry. I mean, there's, there's a number of industry that, industries that use uh, hydrogen in their overall operations and uh, as a chemical, not always as energy, but as the actual chemical. And it's usually coming from natural gas sourced hydrogen. Um, and we want to we want to move away from the, the the natural gas source, green hydrogen or not green it's dirty it's black hydrogen, um, and clean hydrogen will will compete with natural gas prices around the world, um, Brazil, India, Germany, Scandinavia, and and, and so on. Uh, hydrogen is is a versatile a versatile fuel uh, that will play a huge role in the decarbonization of many industries paired with renewable energy, and hydrogen will become itself a carbon free fuel. Uh, right now, hydrogen is not solely carbon f carbon free uh, across the world, and the future of seeing a decarbonized grid and decarbonized hydrogen is really important. Uh, what we need as a global to, to develop that global hydrogen economy, green hydrogen economy, we need policy backing it. We need governments, we need states, we need uh, as much support, public and private support, backing technology, innovating and continuing to increase efficiency and incentivize the deployment of green hydrogen projects. As of now, industry is tiny. Uh, the, the costs are very high. Uh, in order for costs to fall and industry to scale up, green hydrogen will need strong policy backing. There are companies out there that are doing everything they can to make it happen uh, that are solely based around fuel cells and electrolyzers. And I am excited and confident for the future of those companies. Uh, but we also could really use a little bit more policy in place. Uh, ultimately, where we want to get to is on a free market basis, the technology stands up to fossil fuel generated energy and, and uh, using natural gas to produce hydrogen and, and making green hydrogen outcompete black and brown hydrogen. Um, from studies, uh, green hydrogen will need approximately $150 billion of subsidies over the next decade from private and government sectors. And comparatively, governments around the world will spend 
twice that uh, annually on fossil fuel consumption subsidies. So we know it's it's not a big ask to uh, ask these governments to do this. Um, but that is where we see the future going. We are very bullish and optimistic on hydrogen and hydrogen economy. And we just want to give you a quick overview. I'm going to talk more and more about green hydrogen going forward. And stay tuned. Subscribe to our blog. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we look forward to talking with you. If you have any questions, you know how to get to me. Thank you. Have a great evening.